going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chris, back in Istanbul. Ah, it's raining outside, so it's a great place to be today. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. How are you doing, my friend? I'm fine. You? I just started live streaming. How about you? How are you doing? Good. You doing good? How's everything? How's business? Yeah, How's life in Istanbul? Is it good? Good. Good? Not right now. But if I pass you, let me know. I see this ten times here, yeah. More than ten times. I know. A lot more than that. So anyway, I'm gonna walk down this way. What are looking now? I am looking for nothing. These people are looking for things. They're looking for all these beautiful things to shop. I'll be back around. When you see me, you let me know. Okay. All right. Oh, sure. Send them customers. Anyway, we're in the Grand Bazaar today. It's raining outside. And, uh, yeah, it's a big difference for me. I come from Albania. I live in Albania. It's a bit warmer there than here. And coming here, you know, I'm wearing a jacket, sweatshirt, things like that. So be prepared if you come in here anytime soon that it gets cool. It gets very windy here. Uh, and by the afternoon time, you're going to want a light jacket, something like that. And come November, you're going to want a heavy jacket or even a hat. Good thing about that, you can buy all those types of clothes here in Istanbul, in the Grand Bazaar, or around the Grand Bazaar. It is very crowded in here. So don't mind me. Hopefully the audio is good. We're using a wireless microphone right now. Hopefully the quality is really, really good. And uh, this is the main area. Like if you go down this way, that's gate seven. Right over here is gate five. On this street here, a lot of gold, diamonds, things like that. You have Turkish delights here as well. If you never watched any of my videos before, also if you were watching me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, hit, turn on that bell notification. This is a brand new YouTube channel. I lost my old channel. We're not going to get into that, um, but I will be expanding to Twitch and Kick and all those very other fine platforms. Just not YouTube alone. We'll be on Facebook as well, trying to multi-stream, trying to give you guys, you know, whatever destination you guys like, whatever you prefer, whatever platform is your favorite to view content on, I'm going to try to be in all of those. Anyway, you're not here for all that kind of information. You're here for this, this craziness, this chaos. That's what it is, a little chaos. As soon as I started the stream, somebody attacked me with trying to, you know, get me to the, go to their shop. That's what it's going to be like that for you. People are going to want your money. They're going to want your eyeballs in their shop, and they're going to want you to buy some things. Also, too, just a side note. If you ever come here and you want to buy Turkish Delights, just remember, if you buy Turkish Delights here in the Grand Bazaar or the Spice Market, the Spice Bazaar, you're going to pay a lot more for them. Simply the fact, because their rent is much higher inside of here, especially on these main streets. And uh, they have to sell their Turkish Delights at a lot more money. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Everything good? It's good? Good? Oh, look at that. I got more friends over here. You got my shopping photo, my shopping. Oh, okay. Free stuff. I come for free stuff only. Free stuff. So that's a good idea, too. Walk around with a camera, and when people think like you're a YouTuber or something, and they're like, oh, come to my shop, because they know people watch, and then people go to these shops. Be like, yeah, I want some free stuff. Give me some free stuff. I'll tell my people to come visit you. So, guys, buy, even if you buy a broken-ass GoPro, doesn't matter if you have an old one around or one of these cheap $30 action camps. Buy one, a selfie stick, or walk around with your cell phone on a stick, and just act like a YouTuber, and tell them, I'll send people. Give me a good discount. Give me some free stuff. He's making sure that the, uh, the Turkish uh, made coffee maker was good quality. Let me ask you, do you guys get involved in any of this stuff right here? When you guys travel, do you buy souvenirs? Do you do like the photos, the magnets, things like that? Do you come to Turkey? Do you buy Turkish delights? Usually they'll have somebody standing out here and give you a free sample. And if you want to get diabetes fast, then just come here, walk around, hit up every single Turkish Delight place, get something for free, and you're good to go. You'll be on that sugar high, on the fast track to diabetes, and uh, if that's your thing or not, I don't know. But it's very crowded in here. Let me check some stream here. Quality looks good. That's what's important. 
This guy over here, he doesn't like the guy with the sneakers right here. He doesn't like me to show sneakers, but we're gonna play stupid. think, huh? You guys are on the search for the best Jordans, the best Yeezys. You're going to want Chinese made. You will see a lot of Vietnamese made in here. Um, Vietnamese quality is not as good. Even the best Vietnamese made are not as good as like mid-tier, oh, not mid-tier, upper mid-tier upper mid Chinese made are better than the best Vietnamese made. But then the Chinese have like a one-to-one -one rep, which is just, the unauthorized ones, just phenomenal. Tons of bags. We're going to get into it. I'm here all week, but we're going to talk about redundancy. That's the big thing this past year, redundancy in the marketplace. From shop to shop to shop, whether it's outside or inside, everybody's selling the same stuff. The bag shop has the same stuff. The sneaker shop has the same stuff. Everybody has the same crap. The only difference is the high quality stuff. You're not going to find the, the uber high quality out here in plain sight. You're going to have to ask for it. You're going to have to ask, oh, do you have a, oh, you have a showroom? Oh. oh, yeah, let's go to the showroom. If you're one of those people that gets a little sketched out by going down back alleyways or going upstairs or downstairs, maybe going to showrooms is not your thing. You know, maybe uh, a lot of people don't like going up and down stairs. Maybe they feel it's a little too dangerous. This is a very old city. The staircases aren't that great. Um, you know, maybe it's not for you. You guys like the bags? You guys know I have the good bag shops. I don't feel like looking like gold yet. Looking at gold yet. But there's a lot of shoe places here. A lot of bag stuff. So, we have cappuccino, cappuccino. 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 It's a lot of good stuff. Let's go up here. Hopefully we can keep good cell connection. It's looking good right now. Best fur and leather. I like that custom made piece right there. That's very nice. Very, they like Mexico, Brazil, okay, Colombia. That's actually a nice piece right there. One of the custom made pieces. Very nice. It's a lot quieter over here. Very peaceful. We'll go this way first. So hopefully the connection is good for you guys. That's the main focus today is you guys get a good connection. Now, when you guys are coming to Istanbul, are you guys coming for the branded items? Are you coming for the branded stuff? Or do you want some, you know, you just want some leather bags that aren't branded, that aren't luxury brands. They're just pure leather bags. I mean, obviously, you're going to pay a lot less for them. Maybe you're not a brand person. And then you're wondering why you're watching my channel. Maybe because it's Istanbul and you just want to see, I'm going to go to the Grand Bazaar. It's an historical place. Been here for hundreds and hundreds of years, and there's over 4,000 shops here. There's definitely more than that. There's definitely a lot of shops that were created down little back alleyways and things like that. All these hidden showrooms, all this great stuff. I mean, if if you like branded material, then the Grand Bazaar is awesome for you because there's so much here. You can you can do everything here. You can do everything here. You can get souvenirs, whether it's the branded stuff or not. A lot of custom-made pieces. A lot of nice jackets right here as well. We got sneakers, got bags. As far as like big sizes go too, like a lot of Americans come here. If you watch one of my latest videos I did with Mr. Perez in Florida, he's a bigger guy. He needs a um, he needs a 46 shoe, which is a size 46. Yeah, so 46 was a 12. He's a 12. So 46, 47, which is a 13 US, very difficult. You're gonna most likely get a Yeezy or like a Jordan 1. That's gonna be like your only options to get a sneaker. It's very, very hard. And if you're a bigger guy and you need a bigger shirt, um, branded, high quality, 2X. Lower quality, three to four X you can find. Much more difficult though. But here, we have everything, we have rugs. More coats and stuff here as well. Hats. Bags. And you say to yourself, Chris, well, is this the good stuff or is this like the, the, uh, like the, this is like mid level. Most of the stuff you see here is mid level. It gets a little tricky with the watches. And we'll get into that as we're walking around. But most of the stuff you see here is mid level. 
they have to they have to hire stuff hidden a little more. You know, whether it's around a corner, through the metal detector, out somewhere else. You got to be weary for that. So a lot of cool coats down this way. We came in from this way right here. There's another exit right there. We're gonna go down this one over here. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of redundancy though. When it comes to bags, sneakers, all the same stuff. We're gonna go this way. All right. Wow, the quality's looking really, really good. I really don't show this. I've really never showed it over here before, guys, for the simple fact that I've never been able to live stream back here because of the connection with the ceiling above us. The reception's never good. So I can never come through the gates over here. I can never come up here because of the connection is so weak with the signal. But now I'm able to because I have invested in getting myself a streamer backpack, which is a lot of work. I can't lie. But you guys are not watching me to hear me about my technical difficulties with my backpack. You want to see the fine merchandise, the beautiful coats that they have here. Hello. Welcome to Istanbul. It's a great place. It's a good day to be inside. It's crappy outside. <laughs> Take care, my friend. All right, so we're going to go back down this way. I hope when you guys come to Istanbul, you like crowds because... Um, it's one of the things you have to deal with if you're gonna do a lot of shopping here, or if you're gonna do a lot of sightseeing here, you're going to have to deal with a lot of crowds as well, just because it's a lot of lines, there's a lot of things like that. People are gonna bump into you all the time, and usually it's not gonna be Turkish people bumping into you, it's gonna be other tourists bumping into you. And you know, it's a lot of people. A lot of people. This place has everything you want. Now, you gotta haggle a bit. You know, if you're not a haggler, then okay, then that's not great for you because in Istanbul, part of the culture is haggling. Haggling. You can't take that opening price, that first price. You know, they're going to throw a price at you. You got to give them your offer back and you got to play that tit for tat game and go back and forth and back and forth. And if you're ever wondering, like, okay, you come to the Grand Bazaar, you're going to be here for hours upon hours upon hours. Like, are there places to eat here? Yes, there is. There is restaurants here. We got the news right, right there. News right, Salt Bay, you know. And there's other places actually hidden outside the metal detectors. There's other kebab places and things like that as well. There's restaurants dead center. There's not many inside the heart of the Grand Bazaar, but there is enough. They're always crowded, but there's enough to um, get yourself something. And they got all different kinds of jewelry here. Like I said, when you come in gate five or gate seven, it's all diamonds and gold, all real shit. It's all real, it's all real. And you know what? Listen, gold has a price, it's a currency. But you can still negotiate, depending on how much you buy, man, you can make a deal. We'll go down this way. Hope you guys are enjoying the live stream so far. Make sure you hit that little cog wheel, which is right there. Hit that little cog wheel and make sure you select 1080p, 60 frames per second, because that's what we're live streaming in. That high quality shit. So make sure you make make sure you're watching that. Because sometimes some of you guys, you might have your thing set at 480p, 360p, maybe 720p. You don't want that. Sunglasses, those are definitely all Turkish made. We got some watches. Now remember, watches out here, guys, are not gonna be the high-end stuff, the high-quality stuff. They're gonna be, you know, $150 watches. They might ask 300. Hello, my friend, what do you got there? You got watches? Watches, let me ask, Let me ask you, what do you guys get for, okay, for this one right here? Yes. How much for that? $450. $450. From the US. Yeah, from the US. 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 I like it, US. You like the US? Yes. 
Would you like to see if you have more models? No, like, no, no. I can do better price. This is 2023 model. Yes. Like yes. Nice oyster principle. Yeah. I have a single color also. Okay. Like, the simple one inside, black, blue, green. This is a very popular watch right there, the this Arabic. Arabic dial. Yeah, yes. Arabic dial, very popular. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What do you got here, Richard Mills? This is Bugatti. That's the Bugatti one, okay. This is Richard, Richard Mills. Billy, yeah, Hublo, Richard Mille. So this is Bugatti. Yeah, Jacob you, and Co. How much? Oh, Jacob Company. Jacob yes. and Company, okay. $1,200. Do you have other Jacob and Company, company watches besides that one right there? It's probably Jacob this and is, Company. No, this is not Jacob. What's that, Lamborghini? Really nice. What is this? Exactly. What is that? Oh, okay, yeah. Lamborghini. Lamborghini, yes. Yeah. So you have no other Jacob and Company? You have that, um, it's the roulette table. Have you seen that one? It's yeah, the gambling know, table, and it actually shoots the ball around. Yeah, it's a very, very interesting watch. Where about this one for you? Nah, it's too, uh, too crazy for me. This is crazy model. How much do you ask for that? How much do you get for that? $1,200. $1,200, huh? Let me show you more model inside. Sure, but sure, why not? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see what this man's got here. Everything. Rolex. Do you have super clones or no? Yeah, I have super clones. Okay. So these are all Japanese automatic? This is Japanese automatic. Oh, Japanese automatic. Okay. Okay. That's a Tiffany's. Okay. And you got the multiple colors. Excuse me. Yes. Very I nice. Red, black, orange. And you have ladies blue. watches as well. Excuse me all for ladies. The ladies watches as well. Yes. Okay. So what is something like a ladies watch like one of, like this one right here? What does this go yes. for? $450. Four fifty. Yes. That's opening price though. But for you, we can go haggling. We can go negotiate. We can haggle? Negotiate? Can I ship more model? You take one for men, one for women. I take two pieces good deal. I get my watches for free. So does my wife. Okay. Let me show you more for ladies watches. Oh, yeah, I'll show. Uh, yeah, my, 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 my people have, love the ladies' watches. Excuse me, I will show you the What do you got on? What do you, what are you wearing? Richard Mille. Okay, Richard Mille. All right. Yes. So, so this is Ch this is Japanese movement as this well. Japanese McLaren new one. Yeah, I'm wearing this one. The five, McLaren, yeah. Five years. I know the McLaren is new. I mean, it's been five years. Yes. Five years. So buy under the service. Protect Philippe. All right, a paddock. Yes. Yes. So, Very nice. Let me see the back. Let me turn it over. Excuse me. So you can see the automatic. Of okay. Course. Excuse me. What do you got for that? How much is that? Four ninety. Four ninety. Okay. Yes. All right. Aquanut. Yeah. And you have bags and everything here. Yeah, it's all leather fur deck. All leather. Yes. Okay. So you don't you don't bring in any you don't bring any Chinese bags in at all now. Why are we doing the Turkish leather? What do you get for a Chanel? Yes. How much for a Chanel bag? Very classic. Very nice. Six fifty. Okay. That's your opening price. The opening price. You love to negotiate. It is Istanbul. Let, let, we must let, negotiate. Let me sell you one. one, one. Not today. I don't want to buy anything today. Why? Because all my money's in the safe in the Come hotel. On. Yeah, I never come shop with a loaded pockets. You ever try carry? You ever try carry so much uh, lira around? No, you can pay card. Wait, Thank something. God. Yeah. Uh, I carry cash. I'll take your card. I'll take your card. You want to see the four legs or not? Yeah, I want to. My people love to see good stuff. Okay. People love here. to see good stuff. He's got some good stuff here yes, as well. Yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. All for ladies. The ladies, yeah, very nice. Ladies watches. This one. Unless it's free, I don't want one. Very nice. Very nice watches. What's the most popular one are you selling? What do people love? What are the ladies loving right now? This year? What's popular? The green with the emerald dial? Yes. The, okay. Or the Wimbledon or classic. Classic, yeah. yeah. Women like classic stuff. You know, because you can wear it all year round. Yeah. This is the one she likes. Yeah, it's very nice. It can be yours. <laughs> yeah, it can be mine. You can't pay by cut. How much? I'm, I'm liking your selling tactics. How much would you I'm like enjoying them. them. How much you want to pay? I'm looking at these bad boys right here. Uh -huh. How much you want to pay? Me, I don't want to pay. I want to pay zero. Let me check my stream. Oh, it's looking good. Let me put it in my pocket. My stream in my pocket. What else he's got here? He's got more. All right. He's got a full array, a full assortment, beautiful watches. He's got everything. He's got bags. So we're in the Grand Bazaar. You guys already know. A lot of selection here. So let's see real quick. All right. All right, my friend. I got your business card. Thank you. How much you want to pay? Not right now. Come on. No, I'm here all week. I'm all week. I'll be back, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Have a good day. All right. We're going to head out of here. All right.
Let's go down this way. If you guys need a rug, they got rugs here. Everybody's going to try to sell you a rug, too. More bags, bags, tourists. We got everything. Now, if you guys ever want to know, like, okay, you want to get to Moonlight Pasta Street, which is the, the crazy shopping street out here where, like, it spiders off of the other streets and other hidden alleyways. See that landmark right down there? You go to that and you make a right. It'll take you right to Moonlight Pasta Street. It's raining today. Hello. Hi. It's raining today. We don't, we don't want to go outside. So we're going to go. We'll go this way. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go down this way. And we're going to see who lets us film. Is that a barge in our way in? Um, I'm trying to figure out. I want to do like an outside cheap bargaining live stream. And I was hoping to find to do some with somebody here in Istanbul to do it with me. It's, it's more fun with two people. Plus, if I have the camera, and it's hard sometimes to haggle and bargain because then you know, I got to put the camera down. Now, this camera is connected with cords to my live streaming unit. So it makes it more difficult for me to go into my pockets and get my funds out when I have to pay. Because i got to put the camera down, but I don't have a lot of movement. And if you know anything about the Turkish Lira, it's extremely devalued. So a stack of Turkish Lira like this is like 500 bucks. So if you're doing some shopping here, it's better to just pay in dollars. They do business here on the dollar. But you can pay in euros, British pounds. But ultimately, the dollar. The dollar is how they do business here. They buy and sell property on the dollar here as well. They do everything on the dollar. This whole area of, of Istanbul functions pretty much off the dollar. The euro, the British pound, they take it all, but the dollar is the norm, the norm. And like I said, if you're coming here shopping and you're coming from the UK, Europe, or the US, best to just pay for a majority of the stuff inside here in your currency. Just exchange small amounts of Turkish lira. It'll last you about two days for, for meals and drinks and whatever kind of small items. Uh, because a lot of places, even like Starbucks, they take cards and stuff like that, but they do not take uh, foreign currency. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, if you come here to uh, Bebe, if you go out this way, it goes to Mumet Pasha. That'll take you outside to the crazy shopping street. We'll go out there and do a live stream. Maybe tomorrow it's not supposed to rain, so we'll see. Thursday's not supposed to rain. Wednesday, rain. Unfortunately, I was trying to do the street market on Wednesday. But we're going to go down all these today. We're going to see how many we can do. Uh, I should be able to live stream roughly for a good solid hour and a half, hopefully. Uh, this, this, they do close here at 7. They start to close a lot of the shops around 6. These guys want to go home. They've been busy all day working. We'll go this way. And like I said, we're going to see who lets us in, lets us check out some things. I'm just trying to give you guys a current, up-to-date 2023 fall walkthrough through the Grand Bazaar. What do you guys think? Are you guys rocking this at all? Do you, is, this, is this your thing right here? Is that yours? A lot of cool stuff here. And like also too, don't worry about like um oh, dropped a business card. Let me put my phone down. And I put this in my pocket. Also, don't worry about coming in here and needing to exchange money. They have money exchanges inside the Grand Bazaar. And I'm telling you, the the price is not that bad. Uh in Istanbul, you can walk two feet and get a better exchange rate. So don't panic. You're gonna you're gonna walk a couple of feet and get a better exchange rate. You don't have to worry. They have fragrances. Sunglasses, watches, bags. Like I said, we're seeing a lot of the same bags. A lot of the same bags. Sneakers. Uh, you know what? Let's keep it straight. We're going to go straight. Like I said, pillow, they got pillows. If you want pillows, bags, clothes. A lot of the same thing. A lot of the same redundancy. Connection looks fantastic, I think. I'm looking. Oh, it looks beautiful. We're going to keep going up this way. Belts, socks, underwear. They got everything. Everything you want. They got hats, too. They got hats. Don't worry about that. Even though, like, in Europe, not many people wear baseball hats, they do have baseball hats here. In Asia, you see a lot more baseball hats. Even though it's so hot, you don't want to wear a hat, but the sun's so strong, you want to wear a hat. It's complicated when you go to Southeast Asia. Got more watches. 
background bazaar. Man, I live here. No, I'm here all the time. I'm here all the time. No, no, no. I came in uh, the other day, uh, Sunday. Sun- no, Saturday, Saturday. Today's Monday. I came here Saturday. Came here Saturday. No, I come every couple of months. But this summer, I was here for a two-month stretch. I was traveling around. I went to Natalia, Izmir, then I was here. But uh, yeah, every every so often I come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I not right now. I love Istanbul. Yes, of course. I can see you. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Still, they still got shorts and everything. Oh, there's a discount right now because the summer is ending. So we got short sets, short sets. They're really different brands. Good prices, one piece fifty. Oh, so okay. So you have a choice. Shirt. You have two piece, three piece. Not bad. Three pieces for thirty euro. That's a good deal. So all these pieces. That's a, all the same price. That's very good. That is really good. With no size selection, this is it, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. By the time you guys get here, it'll be over. It'll be gone, and he wants it gone. He needs room for his fall collection. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, they have good. They have good stuff. So for ten euro a piece, man, you can't. Now I've heard crazy stories here. We'll go up this way. I've heard crazy stories here about uh, people selling shoes for like ten dollars a pair just because they were more seasonal and they needed to get rid of the stock. They needed to get rid of the stock. Nobody was buying them, and they were basically almost like giving them away. And usually some other seller will come and just buy them all for, you know, just so they can get rid of them. So there is room to haggle sometimes, but not on popular items. On a popular item, you're never going to be, get the best deal possible because somebody else is going to come along and buy it. They don't, they don't, they're not concerned with that. How are you, my friend? Good. Yes. How are you doing, my friend? Good? Where did you come from? New York. Welcome, my brother. Thank you. I've been here many times. I'm a big I'm a big friend to Istanbul. I love Istanbul. Come here many times. I live in Albania though. Can I, can yeah. I say something? Yeah. About America. Oh, hopefully it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said, oh. About Biden. Oh, I don't want to talk politics. No, no politics. Be <laughs> careful. I'm sure half the country would agree with you. <laughs> Take care, my friend. All right. So let's go. We'll go this way. What do we want to say straight? Nah, we'll go this way. Let's go this way. So here, a lot of you people ask about these clocks right here. The wall clocks. They have the wall clocks. They're a bit pricey. They're a bit pricey, but they're very nice. When I was in Southeast Asia, where those come from? China. But in Southeast Asia, they have a lot of them. They have ones I've never seen before. So they have watches, bags. What else we got here? Yes, my friend. Let's go down this way. But like I said, a lot of redundancy. So it gets a, it could get a little head spinning for a lot of you if you come here and you're just endlessly walking, 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 and you're not really seeing much difference. The only thing that will stand out to you is when you see a very unique shop or a very unique display that you might be like, oh, I remember, where's that place? And it's kind of hard here. The GPS is not that great in here. They always let me film in here. So we got some Panerai here, some Richard Mill. Sunglasses. These are all Turkish made sunglasses. Now, I've tried these before, these for fragrances. These are about 50 euro they charge here, which is basically a little less than half of the real ones, right? But they're strong. What's going on, my friend? How you doing? I am live streaming. So you can say hello to people. Hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello, mate. See? Say hello. Any any new watches? Anything really good yet? Hello, please. Very nice, very nice. So he's got some new ones. Now, we just saw this at the other guy. Black watch. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm a big fan of black watches, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. You know all the lingo. You got the... He's, yeah, yeah. He said all the lingo down. Japanese movement. Yes. What do you guys get for this? How much are you charging for this right now? Now we just... 
We just saw this with the other guy. What are you asking for this? How much? We're selling no 275. 275. So the other guy wanted 450, I think we quoted, and they want 275. See, you have to shop around here in the bazaar because we were only over a couple of blocks, and that guy quoted us, I think, 4, 450, 475. Crazy. Crazy. We're going to go inside real quick. I'm doing good. How are you doing? How's everything? Good? Good. All right. Very good. All right. I'm going to walk around. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I just got I just got back on Saturday. Just came in Saturday. I'm here all week. Okay. So I'll be around. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. More bags here. More watches. No filming. No filming. No filming of photos. That was big in, uh, in uh, Thailand. Thailand had complete malls for wholesale um, where they didn't allow majority of places had signs you could we're not do any filming but it was wholesale which if you know anything about wholesale buying you go with a phone and you take photos and you call people and you do video chats about what we're going to buy with your business partners and I found that to be very odd that in Asia they had a problem with that but that's how wholesalers buy because you, you know if you have a business partner you're, you're both usually not going to the place you're trying to save money you're trying to make money in a business so you're all not going there one of you is going, and then you're taking your phone with that awesome internet they have in Thailand, and you are streaming back to your, your partner, like, look. All right, so we just came from here. Let's go up this way. Oh, we went up that way. But let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. We're going to go back this way. All right, we're going to go this way. So if kids close here, a lot of you guys ask about kids clothes. Hello, my friend. A lot of you guys ask about kids clothes. And it is one of the neglected things, is kids. We also notice in Istanbul, there's not a lot of kids around. They, they exist. They are here. You just don't see them around much. And when you come shopping inside the bazaar, you don't see much clothing for kids or kids' items. Outside on the street level, you do, but not so much out here. Now, if you go this way, that'll take you outside as well. We're going to go this way right here. Go down this way. Like I said, usually these guys will be giving you some free stuff. Menthol. So if you want to still get a lot of congestion, you want to be cleared out, menthol. When you're here, buy the menthol. They have saffron. But the menthol is crazy. You just need one little crystal with hot water, and you inhale it. Wow, it's crazy, man. It opens you up like it is nothing. But if you love tea, they have tons of teas here. And there's a tea that's very sugary. But I found out a lot of places have it with... Um, uh, stevia leaves. They actually sell the stevia leaves and they grind it up to make these coffees, these pow these teas, these powdered teas. So, you get some good stuff. Like, I always thought it was like pure sugar, but the person was like, no, nah, it's stevia, and he was showing me the leaves. And I was like, whoa, very nice. Let me ask him. Let me ask you a question real quick. These teas right here, Yes, Are they sweet. sweetened with stevia or sugar? Stevia, mate. Stevia, right? Yeah. So you guys grind up the real stevia leaves and make it, right? Yeah, powder, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you, my friend. See that? Now you guys know. Yes, I'm live streaming. Thank you, my friend. Take care. So, yeah, I thought it was always like it was pure sugar, but they said, no, it's stevia. And I was like, oh, okay. It made me feel a lot better about the tea I was drinking here. Because they got teas for everything. They got a tea for sleep, tea for you know what, tea for everything. They got teas. Like I said, you got clothes everywhere, sneakers, bags, a lot of redundancy, a lot of the same thing over and over again. That's why you can haggle. This is why you can definitely haggle when you come here and you're out and about. Because there is competition. They have competition. But also, too, don't forget that they have so many other tourists coming by them to where they have, you know, they have more customers they can sell to. So they're not going to just give it away to you. See, there's an eatery right there. There's food right there. We'll go this way. I don't know. Ladies, you buying that right there? Not really could put much in there. You know, and I'm guessing you're going to trigger every, trigger every metal detector. More watches, more colognes, more sunglasses. Now, you'll notice that, like, that has a price, right? 
this doesn't have a price. But if you go out on the streets, these usually have a price. This is set price. The other things, you can haggle for. Whenever something's priced, there is really no ghost. There's no haggling. You know, it is. Uh, some places will, I noticed like in Asia, they had signs up that it was fixed price, fixed. Like there was no sense of any type of negotiation was going to happen. None of that was going to happen. <laughs> So we've got a restaurant here as well. Like I said, it is um, it is 535 here. Technically closes at 7, but a lot of shops here will start to close around 6 o'clock. So if you're coming here, the Grand Bazaar is a place to come earlier in the day, not later in the day. These people want to get out of here, you know what I mean? They don't want to, they spent their whole day here, they don't want to be staying around at 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night. Now they close the gates at 7, but if there's people shopping in here, they usually don't push them out as much. So like I said, these people want to go home. They want to go home and live their lives. You can get everything. Everything you want. Now, if you want high quality, you want the best of the best reps that they sell available in Istanbul. When I talk about the best of the best, I always say where you are. Like, what's the best available? Because there obviously are things elsewhere in the world that you could get that could be better. If you wanted certain things from China that would be better than here, you just have to order them or go to China. But then it's even more difficult because then you've got to hunt it down in China. But when you come to Istanbul, if you're asking, where is the best of this or the best of that, that stuff is hidden. Or you have to know the location of where to go. You know, there is more and more places nowadays, they don't want their information out there. It is more secretive of, uh, you know, you go there, they tell you where it is, got belts. So you got a lot of assortment of belts. You have everything, all your brands, and they fit the belts here too. You don't have to worry about that. They will fit the belt, size it for you, no problem whatsoever. Also too, about the belts, the lower quality belts, um, a lot of times where like the serial number is supposed to be or how it's supposed to open or stuff like that is inconsistent with the retail version. So you kind of have to know about that. You, know, you have to kind of brush up on how the belt is supposed to actually be, the buckle, the buckle, all that kind of details on the buckle. Very nice. Mid quality, not, nothing too crazy. Now, if we wrap around this way, it goes down to gate nine. It's where a lot of the shops I recommend are inside gate nine, hidden in the back areas and stuff like that. Gate nine, gate seven as well. I'm gonna go down this way. This is really cool. Oh, did they move it? Ah, he moved it. Did they move it? Yeah, they moved it. I think it was him. He had the he had a sneaker uh, in a box, in a Louis Vuitton box with a glass window. It was so cool. But it wasn't a Louis it wasn't a, a Louis Vuitton sneaker, which kind of ruined the whole idea. I was talking about that yesterday in a live stream. Tons if you want football jerseys. Now people ask me that now this comes this is different too. There's gonna be different layers of quality of this stuff. Um, so you can get jerseys as cheap as like two bucks. You can get ones that are thirty dollars. It really depends on the quality level you want. You know what you want to get. I'm trying to think how far I want to go down. Let's go down this way. Tons and tons of stuff. Like I said, a lot of a lot of redundancy. If you're, if you're coming here to expect that every shop is going to be different and selling different stuff, some of these places are all linked together. You know, they're all linked together. Richard Mill, Wall Clock. The Wall Clocks are nice, but they're expensive here. But, like I said, you come here shopping for yourself, and, you know, maybe a chess player. You have a chess player in a family. Maybe it's you and you want one of these beautiful boards. But the cool thing is here, you come here, you see things, backgammon, very popular, a lot of cool stuff. Hookah, you get a lot of custom hookah stuff here as well. It's just not clothes and bags and sneakers and jewelry. There's a lot of, you know, different things. 
Sneakers, like I said, are very difficult here. Um, very difficult. It's actually pretty nice. I kind of like these. Quality-wise, I can't say just yet. I'd have to really look at it. But I like I like these. I haven't seen these around. How much are these? In dollar? Dollar? $30. 30 What's the biggest size? 45 $44. Damn it. You're hurting me. You're crushing my dreams. 44 44 I know you. Yeah, I, I'm always here. I know. It's like my from the YouTube. Store. It's it's like my second home away from my second home. Yeah. My first home, I should say. Always you got to with the camera. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, people love it. They watch the videos and they come here shopping. They love watching videos for Istanbul. Istanbul is one of those places where people come for like four or five days and they want to do everything. So they try to research it to figure out like how can you do it all? How can you do the tours? How can you do the shopping? How can you do you know all the different stuff? And you are teaching. I'm teaching them only the shopping. I do the shopping. Uh, I don't do the food or the other stuff. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I do Most shopping. Yeah, shopping. Well, thank you, my friend. Take thank care. You. Bye bye. All the best. Thank you. You too. I was in here a couple of months ago. I was in here. Like two months ago, I came to this shop. They had some nice watches, some cool stuff. This restaurant's pretty good. I've eaten there. That restaurant's pretty good. Like I said, it's crazy in here. There's so much. There's so many different places. We'll keep walking down. Let me check the time. Alright, it's only 5.40 here. Like I said, 6 o'clock it starts to... Uh, stuff starts to close a little bit. There's some places here that never let me film, ever. Some people are always mad cool about it, mad chill. Put it down the way. More kid stuff. Like I said, you don't... The kids get kind of forgotten. I mean, like, this is not high quality, you know what I mean? So if you're watching for kid stuff. But there's some cool stuff. And also, too, it also comes down a kid. The kid's going to grow out of it. The kid's going to fall down on the ground, get dirty, get their food on it, whatever. So you always have to wonder, like, how much do you really want to spend? I mean, for a kid that's walking, a good pair of shoes. So I wouldn't buy them fake shoes. I'd buy them... You know, fake clothes. I wouldn't buy them fake shoes. You want kids' foots developing. You don't want to have crappy shoes. Louis Vuitton. I showed, uh, I showed this yesterday in the live stream at the other place. That's actually very cool. That one's actually very nice. That is very nice. I mean, if you like stuff that kind of screams what it is, that's very nice. If you like stuff that's kind of like nobody else has, then something like this LV bag right here is very cool. But this right here, how many people are going to see with that? However, I do like it because it's as much as it's loud, it's kind of understated. The LV jump rope. I've not seen that around. The LV jump rope. If you're a big uh, Walt Disney person, Mickey Mouse, stuff like that, cool. I haven't seen this stuff around here. This kind of stuff, usually you just order from China. This stuff is made more in China. You see it more. I don't know about this. I don't know about that wallet. You definitely have to be a front pocket wallet holder. Otherwise, in your butt. Christian Dior snow goggles. Okay. Get the bracelets. This stuff depends on what you want. You know, do you want the best of the best? Do you want it in gold and diamond? If that actually is made in gold and diamond, that's another thing you have to understand. Is like some companies, either designer stuff, they don't make everything in gold and diamond or what type of gold it is. So you got to know when you're buying the jewelry what it's supposed to be, even your bags. Go on the retail website, look at what it's supposed to be, so when you come shopping, you can ask those questions. And I would always not throw the information out there. Ask questions and see what they tell you, but have the information in your mind of what it's supposed to be, and see what they say. We're going to go down this one, and then we'll come back down this way. So let me just check the stream, make sure we're doing good here. Oh yeah, we're motoring along. We are just motoring along here. Yeah, I'm very excited. Very excited for this stream right here. Uh, any Stone Island jackets there yet? Yeah, there's Stone Island jackets here. You don't see a lot of Stone Island clothes, but you will see Stone Island jackets Usually in September, October, November, you'll see all the jackets and stuff here. And you will see some Stone Island. 
It's not a huge selection, though. It'll be very minimal. Usually for Stone Island, you'll see a lot, or not even that, for Canada Goose, Montclair, you will see more variety. Um, you'll see more variety in the mid-tier quality and the lower tier. Mid-tier actually has the most. We'll go this way. You'll see a lot more variety when it comes to jackets or even clothes in general at the mid-tier. No photos again? No photos. So what do you guys think? Do you, do, have you ever been here before? Was, or you plan a trip here? Some of you guys hit me up. And you're planning to come a full year. And you're researching, you're researching, you're checking everything out. Like you gotta. There's an old fan favorite right here. Look at this guy. I'm live streaming right now. Say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Hello. How's everything? How Good? You? Good? Anything is right. Good. Where are you? I just got in the other day. We're going to go inside here. Let me see how the stream is doing. We'll see how the stream is doing. It's doing good. All righty. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. He's at a small shop. It's hard for him to keep a lot of stuff in here, but he does a lot of business. A lot of good stuff. What are you getting for this is a lady's coat? Yes, but this is his Montclair. Ladies Montclair. What are you getting for a ladies Montclair like this? A uh, dollar. Let's do dollar. I think it's $90. $90. Long okay. one. For the long one? Yes. Okay, not Top bad. one they have is also... The short one, yeah. Red. Yes. We have... We have gilet one. Oh, the gilet? They got the gilet. Hold on a second. This is the gilet. It's actually pretty nice. Not bad. You know, if you go to look at, like, size zero. Okay, that's that. I think size zero is extra extra small size zero, yeah, right? Size, yes, size yeah, extra small, size. extra small size zero. But his original fox, not... Ooh, foxy. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of nice stuff. So they have, they have t-shirts here, hoodies, they have some jeans, they have some other pants right here, jackets, um, and, and hoodie. yeah, hoodies. M mostly people are, you know, t-shirts, and t-shirts are the most you sell, right? Yeah. T-shirts. T-shirts. What's a t-shirt going for now? 25, 25, $25, 25 euro, around that way, which is good. Huh? All right, my friend, I'll be back. I'm, yeah, here, all, I'm here all week. I'm here all week. Actually, I'm going to go this way. The shorts. He's got some shorts left. If you want Armani jeans, he still has Armani jeans. Some of you guys like Armani yeah, jeans. Take care. All right, I'm going to go this way. And also, drop a comment. When you guys come in here, are you looking for the best quality or the best deal? Like, what's your, what's your objective when shopping? Do you want the best of the best and you're willing to pay a little bit more to get something that you consider to be the best of the best available, or do you want that best deal? Here they have non-branded bags as well. I've always shown this, but they have a lot, one of the larger selections for non-branded bags here. Like I said, if you guys are coming for a simple non-branded bag, they have stuff. You don't want your Louis Vuitton, your Gucci, you don't want that stuff. They have all this stuff here. Like a Bottega, but not a Bottega. It's a sort of Bottega. It's a kind of Bottega. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? A lot of clothes here as well. Montclair jacket. Nice. How much you get for this in dollar? This $300. This is made here or China? Made here. Here. Okay. Start. Oh, this one's pretty nice. I like this one. This one's nice. I just got a Montclair the other day. Before I came, I got a Montclair. We'll go down this way. So you got also two rugs. I mentioned earlier in the video, rugs. A lot of rugs. People are going to try to sell you rugs. Trust me. More bags. Do you like Hermes? Is Hermes your thing? That's a nice Gucci. I like that Gucci. Very, uh, like... Old classy, classic, but it's like an old classy. Scarves, pashminas, as they say, all that good stuff. We'll go down this way. No, look. They know people come to take photos with the lights, so they put a sign up, no photography. 
They want the narrow. Because a lot of places, there are places you can go and pay to have your photo taken in the thing. Where they have a photographer, you get to book a thing. Hey man, whatever you got to do to make that money, to make those dollars. Beautiful rugs, more watches, pashminas. I mean, if some of these pashmina places, you get some high quality stuff on it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Very beautiful. The evil eye. Somebody puts the evil eye on you, things go bad. Trust me. Istanbul. You know, I posted on Instagram asking people, in your travels, do you buy magnets wherever you go? And an overwhelming majority of people said yes. They buy magnets. Another thing about watches. Um, oh, and they, oh, time out. So they ship worldwide for the rugs. Just so you guys know, it is worldwide. More bags to my left over here. You want some more traditional stuff as well? They have that. No tea set for me, but very nice. Yes. I'll show people real quick. Hold on, hold on. Swords and everything. Nice. Thank you, my friend. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what was I saying? Watches. Most watch places out here will be very pushy on the watch. They're going to push, 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 push. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Listen, if you go looking for a watch, you should definitely know kind of what you want and what you're looking for. What brand you want, what model you want. You need to know a little something about the watch you want. But let them speak. The more they try to push you, usually they're going to try to sell you um, crap. That's the best way to explain it. They're going to try to sell you crap. So... You kind of have to know, because they're gonna get they're gonna get over on you, and that's how you're gonna spend a lot of money. A good place will never press you to buy a watch. They're gonna just gonna be like, "Oh, what are you interested in?" And then they're gonna show you a large collection of just that brand of watch that you're looking for. We'll go this way. Need a bit. There's still a lot of people in here for being almost six o'clock. Hopefully the audio is good. We'll go down this way. I think the connection's good. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of lower quality clothes. Yeah, the connection looks fantastic. Yeah. Nice watches. I'll take a look at the watches. Let me ask you a question real quick. How much are you getting for uh, the Arabic dial right here? For the Daytona? Japanese movement? Japanese movement, okay. And that's negotiable, right? We can haggle a little bit. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm here a lot. <laughs> I'm here a lot. A lot of people watch my videos and they come here shopping, you know. People like watching Istanbul videos. I was just telling somebody, you guys watch because you want to maximize your time here. Figure out, like, all right, I just want to go shopping here, go see these sites. I, I tell people, I tell people, don't go sightseeing. The lines are too long. Just go shopping. Just go shopping. The, the lines are too, way too crazy. People go wait online forever to get in places. It's nuts. All right, thank you, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye. It was dark outside. It's getting spooky. All right, we're going to go make a left here. I think I might have went this way already, but we're going to go down this way. Yeah, I'm excited for this streaming kit. The only thing is the backpack generates a lot of heat. Not on me. I don't feel the heat. But um, I have to, uh, you know, I have, to, I have a backpack. It has holes in it to keep it kind of airflow a little bit. Because it does get a little hot in there. But the unit's got fans and everything. It's kind of crazy. Huh? If you guys ever want to see a video about that, man, I'll put that on my personal channel. All right, so we went we went that way. We're going to go down to the left. We'll go this way. Like I said, I'm just walking around, trying to show you how guys how crazy it is. Now, there's a website for the Grand Bazaar. But they do have a full map of the Grand Bazaar, not with stores on it, but like the streets and kind of like the idea of what's on the streets. The only streets, like... 
The only street that really has like a kind of a defined thing, what it is, is the main the main street here, which has gold and diamonds. That's kind of like you know known. It's gold and diamonds. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Let's see if we keep the connection under here. This is the tricky one. This is the one which connections always been the worst ever, ever. Ooh, a lot of bags. I'm saving the uh, good shops for later in the week where I'm going to have do live streams just in shops to show you because I can't take you live to the shops. I cannot take you there. Uh, look at this one. I can't take you. I can't take you to some of the shop, shops live. I can't show you how to get there technically on stream, on camera. So, oh, this is one of the good places I like for jerseys. They have some good jerseys here. They also have NBA, a lot of good NBA stuff here as well. These are a little more money here. So if you want cheaper jerseys, shop outside. You want better quality, shop inside. If you want really dirt cheap, go to Axe or I. They have jerseys for like two bucks, but they're always miscut. You can buy an extra large jersey and it'd be a medium size. So the cheaper the jersey, the more miscut it is as well. So keep that in mind. You have to pay for quality. Here's a shop I can show you. I don't know if he's here right now. He's not here. I've shown this many times on stream, this place right here. You guys come here. Um, you like this place. They have good clothes. They do have a showroom. So this, the showroom is bigger than this. Like, this is very small. Like it's very, it's very small in here. It's always hard for me to stream in here too. But I'm gonna come in here. He's always got some coats, some good selection, good stuff. So t-shirts, coats, jeans, some shorts, hoodies, things like that. But he's got a showroom. So that's where it's a little bigger. More stuff is there. And then, I'm going to go over here. Hello. This used to be kids clothing, but now it's adult clothing. Yeah, no more kids. No more kids. No more kids. And here's a friend of mine. I'm live streaming right now. We're live streaming. And I came here to show the bag shop. Good. You sell the sneakers now too, or you just put to this? is nice. You one you know? just selling this one sneaker? He's just selling one sneaker. Oh, you got a couple more. You selling these for a friend? Yes. He, he's selling them for his friend. Friend. Yeah, I got a I got a new a new live streaming setup that allows me to stream around the Grand Bazaar yeah. with not losing quality. So that means one day we can go to your showroom. I've never showed his showroom ever because it's like a fortress in there, and it's there's like no connection at all. There's no connection in there. But now I should be able to, that's the, his would be the real test. His would be the most real test for the live streaming units. But he's got a lot of men's stuff, a lot of men's stuff. Like I said, he's got a showroom. This is like a mixed quality. This is not all the high quality stuff. He's got a lot of stuff in here. And he doesn't like to haggle. But, but what I mean by that is he likes to give a better deal right off the bat. He doesn't want to waste his time haggling. It's not his thing. It's not, it's not who he is. You know? So he wants to give you a fair price and just keep it moving. Right? Wow. Just keep it moving. Let me ask you something, because I've, I've had this before. Uh, how is it working with credit cards these days for people? Do normally, are, you, are they paying the commission for the credit card? Yeah, 4%, 4%, 5%. 5%. 5%. Yeah, Amex is much more, right? It's like 10%. Yeah, American Express is like 8 8 yeah. Yes, yes. So you just, I always, you guys ask, I always kind of warn you guys, it's, most of the time you got to pay the commission on the credit card processing fee. So just keep that in mind. Cash is king. Cash, every time is The best. dollar is the best here. Then the euro yes. and stuff like that. I mean, the British pound is the best, but the, they, do, nice. they do business on a dollar. So it, dollars is easier for them. So, all right, my friend, I'm going to be back all okay, week. And then we're going to go to your showroom one day. And we're going to do it live. Oh. This way we don't have to make a video. We're going to do it live. Oh. All right, take care, my friend. Oh, you got the new one? Yeah. Because I opened it like... Yeah, the second one. New... Oh, you put more girls on it, too. Huh? You put girls on it. Yeah. I said, oh... My customer, 90% is girl, you know. That's true. It's true. But no, a lot of men, though, buy for their wives and, yes, and yes. daughters or girlfriends, yeah. mistress, mother, mother-in-law. But yeah, you know, the guys, most guys... I know that come here, or are, they have a shopping list. Yes, yes, yes. And it's the most difficult for them because 
it's hard for them. They don't know. Yeah. And they have to they have to trust you. Yes. Yes. They have you have to trust him yes. Yes. enough to understand what you're buying. Now a man comes, he's like, Oh, I like this bag. Yeah, this he the, he's not a woman who's like, No, no, no. This bag is supposed to have this a man most men. There are some men like that. But also for us it's difficult because the woman know everything, know right. quality you know, when they come, they they look, they men. Right. But the men... The men, no, the men goes, I like this bag. It fits my function, what I need it for. Yeah. It's black. It's not too loud. I like this bag. A woman, no, she's counting the LVs, the position yes. of the teardrop. Like, okay, no, this one is supposed to be here. Trust me. Trust me. But there are men like that, too. Yeah. There are men like that, too, uh, that have been very nitpicky about the the... Position of the oh of God. the letters yeah. on the Dior cloth. Yeah. All right, my friend, I'm getting out of here. Take your call. Yeah, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Take care, my friend. Ah, right, we're going this way. <laughs> Hello, my friend. So a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, he's got a showroom. I've never ever showed it ever. Like over a year and a half, I've known him. I've never actually. No, I, I don't know. Did I meet him two years ago? I can't remember. No, I met him two years ago. I think I can't remember. A year and a half or two years ago, I met him, and I've never showed his showroom because I filmed in there, but I never put the video out. And to live stream there, it's impossible. You don't even get a cell signal in there. You couldn't even do a live, an IG live in there if you wanted to. You can't do none of that. Bags, belts, watches, lighting, you name it, sneakers. They got everything. Good selection, okay. Some nice nice stuff. The difficult thing here is like Jordans. A lot of you guys are Jordan connoisseurs or dunks, right? You're not gonna get that selection here. It's very rare. There's very few places here that have high quality and good selection of Jordans. High quality places tend to have very little. Low quality places have a lot more. But I gotta tell you, man, low quality shoes to me are throwaway shoes. You get those shoes for a short term use. Like, I'm known for buying a pair of sneakers just to wear when I'm here and throwing them away. Or when I was traveling Southeast Asia, every country I went to, I kind of left a sneaker behind. Sneakers, look at that. What size is that? That's a 45. That's my size. That's crazy. So, this is a 38. These are 45. And that's a 45. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Are you selling those? The people buying them? Oh. Hi, brother. How are you? Good. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah. I've been in here before. He has crazy sneakers. That's crazy. And that's crazy. Yes. That's nuts. To, huh? That's nuts. Oh, you know how much the original one? How much? About a lira, 48,000. How much in dollars? U.S. dollars? 1,700. Oh, okay. Now, but that's a crazy shoe because it's like... It is like tracking shoes, but yes, at nuts. the same time, it's very really, uh, comfortable. Is it really comfortable? Yeah, really. It's really comfortable. You my, try out. my wife has these. Balenciaga Crocs. Yeah, we, we thought they were... We thought they would be better than they were, and she likes them, but they, when you walk, they cut into your feet, the back part. That's right. Not that's comfortable right. to, like, walk. Not, not exactly. Nah, you got to, like, go from the home to the pool and back. You know, you can't do much. How can I follow you on YouTube? Well, I got a new YouTube channel. I lost my YouTube. Go to my Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, go sure. Instagram. Instagram's the best. Uh, let me... That is me right there. Yeah, I'm following you. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be back around. I'll be back around. I'll come in another day. Great job after you. A few customers asked me the because yeah, you had the video. yeah, you had the crazy shoes. I remember I was in here. I'll go in here again. Please. Yeah. 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 When I was here, this like two months ago. Two months ago, I was in here, and he had a lot of. Uh, a lot of crazy shoes. Some funny, interesting stuff. These are nuts, man. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get this. I don't... Oh, my God. This is like... All righty. Let's get the workout in. These are crazy. Are you guys rocking these? Honestly. Like, are you rocking these? That's nuts. That's insane. That is crazy. I mean, I'm a fan of these. I actually like these. 
I do like these. I think these are good. These are good fall time wear. Earthy. They're very earthy looking. I like them. I like them a lot. What else do you got here? Some more right here. Wow. These are interesting. How much is that going for? Was it like almost like corduroy? It's under my queen. Yeah. New Virgin, five thousand. What is what fabric is this? This is uh, Chinese. Oh, these are Chinese. But what kind of what kind of fabric? What is this fabric? Do you know the Alexander f- McQueen. Yeah, but what kind of fabric is this? What's oh, the- this is the nut leather. We call um, parachute. Mm, parachutes. 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 They call them parachutes. These are interesting too. Yep. Crazy. They get dirty too fast, though. They get dirty. You can wash them. You can wash them. <laughs> yeah, my wife would throw them in a washing machine, trust me. Yeah, he's actually pretty, very nice. Yep. Very, very nice. All right, my friend, thank you very much. You Take care. Please. See you Peace soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Let me check my stream. Yeah, still doing good. Quality is serious. Very good, very good, very good. I hope the audio quality is good as well. Because I am using a lavalier mic. We are using the lav. So like I said, I said earlier in the stream, I'll say it again. If you come here to expect to see out in public in the Grand Bazaar a lot of like different stuff. See, a lot of stuff is closing right now. And it is only 6 o'clock. The gates close at 7. This kid's stuff right here. I do like the kids' Montclair coats. Um, where I live in Albania... They sell kids' little Montclair coats for like 300 bucks, 300 euro, which is crazy, which is nuts. I got everything here. Actually, we're going to go around this way. We're going to go back to stuff. Uh, hello, my friend. How you doing? Kids clothes, right? Yeah, Let me ask you, how much, how, how much is this Montclair coat for the kids? This is 2,500. What, what is it in dollar? Let me tell you. He's going to tell us in dollars. Show some kid stuff. Oh, the Burberry is cool. This is nice. It's like $89. $89. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Where I come in Albania, where I live in Albania, they want $300 for a little coat like that for kids. Euro. 300 euro. You got it in all colors? And uh, that one is a good quality one. Better quality one, yeah. 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 We have colors. We have sizes. What do the kids' clothes go to? What's the age? Uh, it's like here, jackets. I yeah. mean, like starting from two years to until 15 years. To 15? Yeah. Okay. For the other stuff like uh, tax sheets, yeah. like three months, six months. Oh, months. smaller. Okay. Yeah, they got, they got, okay. They got little onesie snow suits for the kids with the detachable booties. You got everything. All right, thank you, my friend. I'll be around. Thank no you worries. very much. Take care. Dark down there. We're going to go back this way. Alrighty. So like I said, if you're going to come here, make sure you come here earlier in the day. And don't come too late. People want to close and... Uh, he's flexing for the YouTubes. No, you try to take a look? Yeah, I'll take a look. Why not? Why not? Alright, so these are all Turkish made? Yeah. How much are you guys getting for these? How much? Yeah, in dollar, in dollar. How much in dollar? What size do you need for that? Me, I need a 45. What's the largest size you guys have? 44 or 45? I have also 45. In these? Yes, yes, cut. These are nice. I kind of like these. With the Turkish quality, though. How much? How much in dollars? How much in dollars? How m- dollar? Dollar, dollar, dollar. Uh, dollar is normal. 70 dollars. 70 dollars? 60 dollars. 60 dollars. Somebody yes. offered me 30 dollars. Brother, this one, this one is good quality, you know. But it's Turkish, right? It's Turkish. It's Turkish, but number one. Number one Turkish. Yeah. So how many, how many grades of, of shoes are there in Turkey? Where it starts at the really low crap. Brother, it's not. How many different, how many different yeah, grades? It's not too much. Little, little. How many? Yeah, it's uh, maybe laces different. The insides are different. Yes. The insides are different. The tongue. Yeah. Tongue's a little. This tongue's a little better. The tongue looks but more. Also, is good. The bottoms look better too. Do you, do you like? Is this one? I'm gonna make more discount for you. I don't know. I do like it, but not for that price. Hi, people. <laughs> I do like it, but not for that price. I like this one. Which one? I like this one a lot. Okay. This one's not. It's nice. I hear you. Which uh, color do you like? This or this? 
Well, that's crazy. I like that because it's crazy. Okay, so how much do you want to pay? How much is your budget? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I can't buy. Come on. You asked bro. me what my budget was. Bro, what? My you budget. Kill me. You kill me now. You these are la- these are lady sizes. Yes. That's girl sizes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how much is your budget? Twenty. Come on, bro. Right. For how Turkish, you are happy I I only price? I I like Chinese shoes. Really? Yeah, yeah, and then Vietnamese. And they have corona, corona. No, no, stop that. Don't say that. Don't talk about that disease. We can't say that. Okay, so how much is that? 20, 20. Give me 60. See, that's a big difference. That's 40. He said 70, I said 20. He's like, give me 60. Yeah, he's good price. No, no, thank you, my friend. Come on, bro. D squared? You got D squared? D squared is too much. Too much. Nothing for 20? Come with me, come. Nothing for 20? Look at me. Square, I have more color. Yeah, you're alive. I'm going to make for you this one. $20. 50 dollars. $20. Well, it's $50. No, $20. $20, $20. $20. 20. 20, 20, 20. 20 is the best I can do. I got to go. I'll be back around. Don't worry. If you want 20, 20, 20. Shirt. 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 No, it's nice. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. You got a lot of good stuff. But I don't want any clothes right now. I don't want any clothes. I'll be back around. I do like these, though. I do like these. These are both the same. Okay. All right, I'll be back around. Don't worry. All right. There's that bag again. It's so earlier, but a different pattern of brown. All righty. And like jeans. There are places here that have a lot more jeans. Like that place has a lot of jeans. Whereas like a lot of clothing shops usually tend not to have a lot of jeans. And if they have jeans, it's mostly D-squared. A lot of D-squared here. More watches. Now, you can obviously get clothes from anywhere from $10 to, God knows, there's t-shirts here that go for $150. More. There are t-shirts more than that. There's a huge uh, variation in prices here. Now, we saw a place earlier where there was, if you, it was 15 euro a piece, but if you bought three, you got them for 10 euros a piece. And... That was a good price for their quality because that was not low quality. It's just that he's clearing them out because they were the end sizes. Summertime, clearing them out. I mean, if you were like a medium-sized Casablanca wearer, for 10 euro, you would get a nice shirt. You know, some that you would normally pay probably $40, 45 there. That's what they were selling that for. That's why I was kind of like, oh, you know, a little shocked about that because that quality was a little better for the price he was asking. But he's trying to clear them out, close them out, get rid of them. Stuff like that. Uh, let's go up this one. We'll go up here. Like I said, if you want high quality, you, this is just the. Uh, this is where you come and you look. This is where you come, you look. All the good stuff is elsewhere. If you want that notch above, two notches above, you're going to have to uh, go to a showroom. Those places will have a lot more to pick from, a lot higher quality, but will cost you more money. So keep that in mind. It's not going to uh, be cheap. Like I said, it's a rainy day here, so it's a good day to come to the bazaar. Obviously, it was very crowded. You don't see a lot of people with bags, though. Like, how many people do you see carrying bags? Right? Do you see a lot of people making purchases? No. I mean, this year has been very unique. I've been here a lot this year, and I can tell you it's much more of a sightseeing year here than a shopping year. Everybody's sightseeing. They're not really buying. They're not buying a lot this year. Everybody's just coming, looking. And I will say, prices are up here in Istanbul. Just the cost of coming here, airfare, hotels. It's mid-October, and the hotels are still through the roof here. Like crazy. You know, you're getting a little box for a lot of money. It's crazy. I'll go up this way. Try to squeeze through here. Actually, man, we came up this way. We'll go this way. So just for reference of where we are, gate five is right here. It's dark outside. Go down this way. 
I've been in here before. I did a stream last year here. Uh, I think it's mostly Vietnamese quality, quality, if I remember correctly, in there. Haggle a little bit. But yeah, if you guys come here in November, December, January, February, or March, you will need a hat. You might not pack one, but you're going to need one here in Istanbul and a jacket because it gets windy, cold, wet, all that good stuff. And buy a good hat. But you can go to a street market and get a hat for a dollar. Like I said, when I go to the higher end places, I will spend more time with the merchandise. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys a walking tour today. Just give you the vibe of what's going on here. What you can get in the Grand Bazaar. What's here. You know, vibe is different. You know, it's different. Like I said, it's a lot of sightseeing. Not a lot of purchasing. Some of you people, like I said, you guys are into the brands. You want the branded items. Some of you are coming just for the experience, and maybe you'll get yourself an LV bag or get yourself a pair of sneakers or something like that. But you're not too like, you're not too set. Like you don't care. Some of you guys are coming for the watches, man. You ladies are coming for the bags. You guys are coming for the watches. Sunglasses. Sunglasses are very difficult. Sunglasses are extremely difficult here in Istanbul. I, I do like this hat right here. That, that Chanel hat right there. I do like that one. I do. My wife has this one. My wife has this one. She has a Chinese rep quality. Very nice hat. It's just like, when do you wear it? You know? She got it, but it's kind of like, when do you wear it? And jewelry, if you want the jewelry, you have to know what you want. Hit me up. You're looking for that kind of stuff, the watches, the bags, the sneakers, the clothes. Like I said, you can spend all day here just going around seeing the same old, same old, but if you want the best of the best, you want options too. You want to go to different places, see what's popping, what's going on. Um, you have your choice, man. There's all-in-one places, there's specialty shops. I do recommend specialty shops just because they tend to, um, you know, their knowledge of the stuff is more than just... Like, if you watched the beginning of my stream, I was talking to somebody, a kid, and he was telling me things. And I said, oh, you know the whole spiel, the whole lingo. And when you go to, like, a lot of big places that have a lot of employees, their employees, they switch a lot. And they just know talking points. Whereas, like, when you go to a specialty shop, you have people that kind of know the fine details. And they can really break things down for you. And you want that. That's what you want. You want to have more of that kind of experience. All right. But uh, I, think, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. The stream was fantastic. Um, quality was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. It is 6.15 here. And, uh, yeah, that's a beautiful view. I'm going to leave you guys with this view right here. So peace out until next time. It's your boy Chris, Istanbul, Turkey. You got to come and visit. You got to come. You got to shop. You got to shop. Grand Bazaar.